Good morning, everybody, Instagram fam, YouTube fam. Oh my gosh, how you doing? It's so good to see you. I'm blowing kisses to all of you this morning. Demon Slayers in the house. We're back with another video, and you know I don't have a lot of time, and I know you don't have a lot of time, so I just came to encourage somebody to get all the way free from narcissistic abuse and oppression and toxicity of all kinds. If you have a prayer request this morning, you're feeling a little bit discouraged, you're feeling a little bit defeated, we are commanding the blessing over the day right now. Demon Slayers, get it together. Let me tell you, I have something to tell you this morning. Make sure your ears are attuned right now, because guess what? The narcissist will block you to punish you. Yes, they will. But count yourself blocked. Count yourself, sorry, blocked and blessed right now. Yes, you are blocked, but you are blessed. Let me tell you, some of you are begging for the Hoover from the narcissist. You're waiting for them to come around, sniff around, hear about how well you're doing, how you're growing and you're healing, how you're coming up a little bit higher. But I'm here to tell you this morning, Demon Slayer, as you're coming online, let me tell you, the narcissist will block you to punish you. You got to stay woke. You got to know that it's coming. And all that stuff that it will ignite inside of you, all the things that it will trigger demon slayers as you're coming online, let me tell you, don't be startled and don't be surprised at the discomfort. Because let me tell you, that whole block, it's not the same as when you go no contact, boo. It's not the same. When the narcissist blocks you, they are punishing you. That means they're coming back. That means they're trying to stir up all that stuff inside of you where you forget all the demonic, satanic things that the narcissist did. That now you're jonesing. Yes, you ever know what that means? You are you are dying. You want the attention from the narcissist. So the narcissist strategically, yes, they will block you to punish you. But I'm here to tell you this morning that you have the power to command the blessing right now and count yourself blessed blocked and blessed baby oh i don't know who it is this morning it might even be a family member it might be a spouse it might be your old bff whoever it is that is being infiltrated by the narcissistic spirit count yourself blessed when they block you because what the enemy meant for evil god will turn around for good somebody needs to know they're going through the pain right now they feel like they've been rejected they feel like they've been abandoned but when you look around, you've been abandoned by the narcissist who's infiltrated by Satan. So what you what you upset for? You've got to get over it, y'all. You got to go through that detox. You got to detoxify yourself from trying to get attention from something that ain't no ain't good for you. So this morning we're commanding the blessing. Count yourself blessed. I need someone to to just deal with that. Lay it at the foot of the cross this morning. Say, God, the narcissist tried to smear me, tried to turn things around, blame shift, sin shift, all this type of stuff. So you're walking around feeling condemned and ashamed. But God says this morning, I need you to put up your hands in the presence of Almighty God and say, God, I am blessed and blocked. Sometimes you got to thank God for the blockage. Yes, that somebody tried to deny you access, but you haven't been denied access from God. You have the power to move through this thing. And so don't get it twisted. Don't let it be equivalent to no contact. For those of you who are being refreshed in this, you go no contact so that you can get yourself um in the presence of God so that you can, God can bring it back into remembrance who you truly are, that you can walk in the identity that God has for you. He can, you can walk in him and no longer be walking in your broken, um, confused, um, um, defiled self. Yes. Some of you have been defiled by narcissists. Your whole identity has been fragmented and God is trying to make you whole again. So I need somebody to wake up this morning. Yes, yes, yes. I know somebody agrees with me this morning because the narcissist blocked you to punish you. You think it's your fault. You think you did something wrong. You're going through everything that you've done and you're think you're, you're, you're stacking up sentences, death sentences against yourself because the narcissist said it was your fault. And you know, you know that you know that you know that you, that you are not the one to blame, but somehow the narcissist has come up in your mind. And let me tell you, we say it all the time. The devil is a liar. Now we call him the narcissist, the devil. No, we're not, but we are absolutely saying that the narcissist is being influenced by Satan to be a, a worker of the kingdom of darkness, to speak the wrong thing into your mind so that you think you are what the narcissist says you are. But let me tell you, you know who you are, girl, brother, you know exactly who you are. You are a child of the king. You're a child of God. And so I need you to step into that reality right now now and count yourself blessed they blocked you they denied you they cussed you they crucified you you let they put you in a pit and left you for dead guess what you're blessed joseph you're blessed david you're blessed glory to god who are you going to identify today with in, in, in the word of god today yes 
They couldn't be like you. They couldn't, they couldn't love like you. They couldn't rock like you. They couldn't walk in purpose and they couldn't walk in the, in the high calling that God had for them too, but they decided to reject it. So instead of just repenting, instead of working on themselves, they're working it out on you. They're blaming you. They're shifting it on you. And so now you're carrying the weight of somebody else's sins. And God says that was not your weight to bear. Yes, it is. It was not your weight to bear. So today, I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, guess what? They blocked me. But what they meant, what's meant to punish me will promote me in the name of Jesus Christ. So somebody's feeling rejected, feeling ousted, feeling like maybe it's the wrong thing. Maybe I should be rocking with that person. God says this morning, count yourself blessed, boo. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we command the blessing over anybody who's struggling. And we declare right now that we are blocked and blessed. Not blocked by God, but let me tell you, we're black, black, bleh, blocked by your narcissist this morning. And let me tell you, don't you to worry about it. That narcissist will come around. You don't want the narcissist to come back around. Some of you wish you were being hoovered by the narcissist, but let me tell you, it's never a good thing. Let me tell you right now, give that God an opportunity to, to empower you, to strengthen you. So when that Hoover does come back around, you can say, narcissist, game over. I ain't playing that game. I'm not jumping on that roller coaster. I'm not going back and forth with you any longer. I'm going to step indefinitely into the presence of God and I'm going to stay right there. And I'm going to watch the enemy flee in seven different directions. The devil, you tried me last year. You tried me six months ago. You tried me six days ago. But today things are going to be shifted because I'm blocked and blessed by a narcissist. Yes, I'm blocked by a narcissist and I'm blessed by God. Somebody declare right now. Because let me tell you, you got to have some radical acceptance in this thing. Go back if you haven't subscribed to this video. I mean to this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Because tomorrow we go through Warfare Wednesdays. And I don't know what the Spirit of God is doing right now. But somebody needs to know that they're blocked and blessed. And we're going to dig into this. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stay in the fold. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is feeling like they've been left behind. But God says he ain't leaving nobody behind. You are blessed. And if God says you're blessed, then nobody can curse it. If God says you're blessed, you're blessed. So somebody is declared defining themselves based on the treatment of a narcissist in your life. Are you kidding me? The narcissist can't define you. The narcissist has no power over your destiny. The narcissist just wants to control and be God in your life. But we declare right now that there's only one true sovereign God over our life. And he said that we're blessed. So guess what? So what if you're blocked? So what? You have no business. You have no... How do you know that God didn't cause that to happen and allow that to happen to save you and to preserve you? You want to have a conversation. You want to seek closure. You want answers and you ain't going to get no answers because there's no closure in a narcissist. You got to find your closure in Christ. And that's why we're going into Warfare Wednesdays because somebody got to get their mind right today. Somebody's got to keep the, the, the assignment on your life is time sensitive and you're wasting time trying to open something that's supposed to stay closed. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that somebody spe ste step into the divine will of God this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, cover every demon slayer on this broadcast right now because they know that they know that they know that God has called them for more than this. This is bondage, y'all. So let me tell you, when the narcissist blocks you, let me tell you, it's meant to destroy you. It's designed to punish you. Oh, don't think it's, it's, it's very strategic coming from the arsenal of the narcissist. So you got to do the direct opposite. You know say, yo, you block me. That's cool, boo. I don't care who they are. I don't care if it's your mom. I don't care if it's your father. I don't care if it's your husband, your wife. Let me tell you, that spirit is a stubborn spirit. And you can't fall victim to its, its ways. You've got to stand firm and immovable in the things of God and declare that you are blessed. Blocked and blessed, baby. But not blocked by God. You have undeniable access through the power of Jesus Christ. So this morning, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that somebody would remember who they are. I pray that somebody would walk in bountiful blessings this morning. I pray, oh God, that overflowing blessings would break out. Father, that they would not fear the punishment or the emotional, psychological pain this morning, but they would find freedom in Christ. Because whom the Son set free is free indeed. Somebody need to get God and get free. You're dying of a broken heart and God says your brokenness. What's up? That your brokenness won't last for all, all, always. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So guess what? When that narcissist tries to punish you with block, with blocking you, cutting you off, you can't reach certain people, you can't reach family members, you can't reach, you've been ousted, you've been smeared, you've been jacked up, you've been, I don't know what it is, you've been bullied, whatever it is this morning, just hold your peace. Hold your peace because God says he's the prince of peace this morning glory to God he says that you have access to that peace and in that inside of even your spirit 
okay? That means that sometimes you can be separated from a narcissist, but there's pure war breaking out in your mind and your spirit. You can't sleep. You have no rest. You're feeling guilty for no reason. The narcissist did what they did to you, but yet you feel guilty. You feel like you got to live out the punishment. God says, I mean, the narcissist wants you to walk out the punishment that was designed for them. They're trying to they're just do the divide, the, the switcheroo, okay? They're trying to switch things around without your permission. So let the narcissist be the narcissist. Let the God, God be God and let you be a child of God. And you walk into the divine purpose for your life. God bless y'all. I just came on here right quick. I got mad work to do. And you know what? I wasn't going to come online. But let me tell you, our God is consistent. He's been consistent with me, so I'm going to be consistent with you. So God bless y'all. We pronounce the blessing over your life. Declare right now that you might be blocked, but you're blessed. You're blessed. You can't stop it, baby. What God says is blessed. No man can curse this morning. So right now, I want you to go subscribe to my YouTube right now. Share this with somebody. We're going to go into it tomorrow in more depth. We're going to get this thing solidified in your spirit, solidified in your mind, solidified in your heart so that you can walk out this thing like a boss, like the demon slayer that you are. So count yourself blessed, boo. You blocked and blessed. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to let everybody know. Narcissist, you want to block some people? That's a, that's a blessing. Count yourself blessed. Stop crying about it. Stop crying, crying about it. You got, you got, what, how can I say? You got accelerated into your healing when that, that narcissist blocked you. I know some of you have been DMing me saying, but why are they blocking me? Why are they blocking? God helped you out, boo. You couldn't do it yourself, so he caused the narcissist to block you. But the block was meant to punish you. But God has designed it to bless you. So count yourself blessed. Blocked and blessed, baby. That's what it is. God bless you. Make sure you stay connected. Enjoy this beautiful day and get this freedom. Get God and get free. Deuces. Bye. God bless. Yes, bless those who curse you and pray for those who persecute you. Speak the word, my sister, and that's what we're going to do. Make sure you log on to Warfare Wednesdays where the demon slayers worldwide come together. We get all the way free. We pray and we encourage one another and get a word from God and healing, deliverance, and all that good stuff take place wherever you're at because God is everywhere. We're not into the hocus pocus. God is delivering his people even on this channel. So God bless you. Good to see you all, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.